She's a destructive influence. She comes barging into the classroom late, causes all heck of a racket. She doesn't listen, picks fights. I think she's smart, but her grades are lower than the Mariana Trench. Look, some kids just aren't good at geography. I can't help but think she does it on purpose. Does she have any siblings? Yes, a twin sister. And how is she? Good as gold. Hardworking, passionate. She's part of the choir, the art club. Wouldn't hurt a fly. The complete opposite of Kiki. Look, it just sounds like your rebellious phase. I've seen hundreds of kids go through it. As long as she's not hurting anyone, I don't care. Sorry, Mr. John. Kiki's just started another fight in the canteen. <sighs> Perfect timing. Right. I want to see both of them right now. Maybe we can use the sister's good behaviour as an example. What was the sister's name again? Booba. Say again. Booba. Hello, Linda. Yes, I, I'd like to speak to a couple of students, please. Yes, could you please find Booba and Kiki? What's going on, girls? Look, one of you is really bright, well-behaved. Your teachers love you. I hear nothing but good things. And then the other, I get really distressing messages which say, I was in the canteen with Peter and Abdul before going to the board game club. Kiki approached us and said I was sat in her seat. I stood up to leave. She got confrontational. I tried to leave. She punched me in the face. Why did you punch him in the face? Uh, I, I didn't. I saw his face. It looked punchable. I punched him in the face. Do you regret it, at least? No. Sure, I want to hear from her. I don't know what to say. You can't even say you're sorry. What's your problem? My problem? I don't like violence in my school. Well, what is your problem with me? With you? I don't have a problem with you. I don't see why your teachers would have a problem with you. Do you have a problem with them? Kiki is confrontational, disinterested, consistently late. I beg your pardon? That was last term's report. Yes, I read it. I don't see why Miss Farnborough wouldn't have had a good reason to write that. Your sister makes a good point there. Wait, well, actually... So right now, I'd encourage you to listen to her, maybe not interrupt, take on board what she has to say. I mean, I, I'd quite like to know, how does your sister's behaviour make you feel? I hate it. I'm always being compared to her. It's always your sister this, your sister that. Okay. And how does that make you feel? Well, the same. She's all everyone talks about. Yeah, and rightly so, don't you think? Look, I don't give a monkeys about the fact that you're lazy, you don't care, you don't get on with your teachers. You're just another one of the hundreds of students that comes to this school. Your sister, on the other hand, she's making her place known. She's going somewhere. She enjoys what she does. Do you enjoy what you do? I do. Yeah, as you should. But what about you? Do you enjoy what you do? Well, yes, of course. This is how I express myself. I'm going to encourage you to rethink that. No, sir. Good. Because what you're doing is not a good way of expressing yourself. Something needs to change. Something needs to stop. Right. Kiki, consider this your final warning. Booba, have a lovely rest of your break time. Thank you both for coming to see me. Oh, actually, while you're both here, uh, we do have a dress code for a reason, yeah? Uh, hair, makeup, probably the first thing that needs to change, yeah? I'll see you later then. Booba, Booba, how did you talk to Mr. Daniels? Um, uh, not, not very well, actually. Um, I'm a bit confused. I don't think I'm allowed to go to art club anymore. Watch where you're going, prick! 